Hi there, I'm Professor Barba and I have a new Jupyter demo for you. This time I want to show you how you can check conditions with an if statement. So I have my Jupyter dashboard here with the previous demos that I have made for you and I'm going to create a new clean notebook to start live coding with you and show you if statements. They're useful when sometimes you might need to chunk some code that is executed when a certain condition is satisfied. Um, so you want to check for that condition before executing a piece of code. We can do that with a, an if statement. An if statement can take three forms. So let me separate them uh, with a little note here to myself and to you. Uh, an if statement can take three forms. The first one is going to be uh, just the if statement alone. Right, so let me show you what an if statement alone might look like. Suppose that we have a list, we call it fruits, and it's a list of strings with fruit names. Uh, let's say apple, um, banana, orange, uh, maybe another one, say cherry, and one more, mandarin. Now, we want to find out um, whether apple is inside that list and do something, maybe, and if apple it's not in the list, maybe we want to add it. So let's see. Uh, the if alone statement is uh, the simplest condition, condition check. We could do if apple is in the list of fruits, remember we can check for list membership with the in keyword. Uh, maybe then we'll do, well, print, we have apple and that would be apple is in the list of fruits and so we get the print statement we have apple another one maybe if kiwi is not uh, see python is so similar to english you almost want to write it like english not in fruits with an s that's the that's the name of my list then maybe we can add using the append method fruits dot append uh, kiwi and then maybe we can do print our list to see if it was correctly added and there we have our list of fruits now has an additional element kiwi that is the if alone the other form of if statement might be the if else statement What does that look like? Let me add a few more cells for the, to move that up. Uh, let's see, for example, we want to say if a condition is satisfied, do something, and if it's not satisfied, do something else. So, so for example, if kiwi is in fruits, then print we have kiwi, but if it's not, append it. So else, fruits append kiwi. Let's see what that does. Well, we get, we have kiwi because we actually did it, just append it in the previous cell. So we have kiwi in the list and the first condition is satisfied. And so we get the print statement. And the final one will be the final type of if statement is the if elif, which is a combination of if and else, and finally else. So now we can have three possible outcomes of our condition. How would that look like? Um, what could we do? Maybe let's try if melon is in fruits, 
Then we, as before, print, we have melon. Um, maybe we also want to add it to the list, but we don't want to get our list of fruits to get too long. So we say, well, if melon is in fruits, print, we have melon. If it's not in the list of fruits, either the list is too long and we forget about it, or our list is still admits another element um, and we add it. So let's say the second condition is going to be L if, let's say, um, now we want to say the maximum number of elements that we want in our list is six. So L if the length of the list of fruits, if it's less than six, then go ahead and append it, fruits dot append melon. But finally, our third option is, well, our list is already larger than six, so we don't want to do anything. And so let's get a print statement that says, well, our list is too long. How about that? All right, what does that do? Well, what happened here is the first condition, if melon is in fruits, print, we have melon. Melon is not in fruits, so we move to the next one. Else if the length of fruit is less than six, well, it happens that the length of fruits, what is the length of fruits? It's six, that is not smaller than six. So this condition is skipped and we go to the else condition and print the list of fruits is too long to append more. That is a quick demo with if statements, checking conditions in Python. I hope that's helpful.